Hey, hey, hey! All right, all right. It is Wellness Wednesday, and we are here in the kitchen. We've had quite the little busy day. Um, I took my Uncle Ray to the neurologist today, and I was um, so happy that my son was off from work and he was able to go. And y'all, I'm just telling you, Alzheimer's is a terrible thing. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, but just wanted to bring to you this cool recipe of um, a shrimp salad that can go on a cucumber. This is the way it's written, but the really cool thing about this, first of all, the flavor is amazing. And um, I was really blown away because um, I'm not much, one of the things that is put in here is a whole cup of chopped celery. Well, I'm just not a big raw celery eater. So I thought, I'm not gonna like this, but the flavors are really, really, really good. So um, I would encourage you to give it a chance and it's very um, easy to make and it's very inexpensive. I'll have to look at the numbers again, but um, I don't think it was very expensive at all by the time I bought the shrimp. The um, cooked shrimp, I just got at the grocery store in the meat section, you can go over to the frozen foods area and look for the already cooked shrimp. The one caution I will say, I'm not like brand specific or anything, but I all, whenever I'm buying fish or something like that in a grocery store, I always look and see where did it come from? Because if it came from China, we have had some recalls um, in the past with high mercury levels of some of the fish and just other things that have come there. So I just wanna make sure it doesn't come from China. Um, but other than that, I don't really know much else about it. So, you know, if you can enlighten me, that would be awesome. The other cool thing is last night I tried a new recipe, a lasagna soup that one of my clients kept saying, you need to try this lasagna soup, it is so awesome. So I finally did and I was like, okay, that may need to be the next slide because it was amazing. Um, and I'd avoided it because there, well, there's last detail in there that I didn't really want to do but I finally just sucked it up and I did it. So anyway, if you want the recipe for this, um, just put a thumbs up in the comments or um, shoot me a message and I'll send it to you. Also, if you wanna be a part of our private group where we have a lot more of these kinds of recipes and um, all my stuff is there actually, um, then let me know. Just say, hey, thumbs up, I wanna be in that group. You know, it's just a health group to encourage you. So anyway, so here is, it's 14 ounces of shrimp that I, I, I bought this whole and then I, I cut it up, I chopped it up. So it's chopped up. So it's real, real easy. You're just gonna put everything into a bowl. Um, and then it's a cup of celery chopped. Again, I thought, mm -mm, I'm not gonna like it. So I'm not gonna like, I like celery and cooked stuff, but not raw celery and stuff. So this was really encouraging for me. Um, and then a couple of tablespoons of red onions um, for some flavor. And then a couple of tablespoons of light mayonnaise. I don't know which, I can't even remember what brand I bought. And then a tablespoon of fat-free Greek yogurt. I buy the F-A-G-E brand, the Fahi, if I, I'm never gonna say it right. But anyway, I try. I try. Sounds a little bit German, like I need to drink a lot of milk before I say it. You know, you know how it goes. All right, and then it's a half a teaspoon of um, black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and then a half teaspoon of this Goya adobo seasoning. I think this is right. The flavor was really good, so I think I got it right. For some reason, I was thinking that adobo was a sauce so in the grocery store i kept looking for a sauce oops yeah but this is all the only goya adobo i could find you know so anyway that's all in here okay and then two cups of sliced cucumbers all right so we're just going to mix this up yummy 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 now, the cool thing about this is how versatile it is. So if you're not a cucumber fan, say for example, you could put it on zucchini slices, you could put it on lettuce wraps, 
If you're not watching your weight, maybe you need to bulk up, maybe that's your issue, you could put it in tortillas. You, I mean, it's, it's, just, it's really super yummy. I was really excited about it. You, you could put it in your own little salad, actually, of, of lettuce if you wanted to. Okay, so see, this is two whole servings, okay? So if I was gonna take this to say a Super Bowl party, I, I don't know, depending on what kind of food it was gonna be there, I would double it or triple it maybe, just to make sure I had enough. But you know, people at Super, it depends. Are, are they gonna have brats there? What are they gonna have at the Super Bowl party? It depends on who your crowd is, right? You gotta know your audience. Um, so um, then you're just gonna put it right here on the little um, cucumber slice like this. Oops. I'm not always the best at this stuff. And I'm not gonna do all of them. You know, that would just bore you to tears, I'm sure. Um, we don't wanna be bored. Maybe we do wanna be bored, I don't know. But I am gonna do a few. Cause then I may just eat them for my supper. So I was kind of looking forward to this. All right, I'll do, I'm just gonna do one more because then I'm gonna sprinkle them. If you want, you can top them off with some um, few little chives if you want and um, dress them up that way. And this is just six, so I mean, you have a lot more to do. Again, I'm not gonna bore you with doing a whole bunch of the, the cucumbers, but um, it, trust me, so, so good. Um, I had this just a few days ago, and I was like, mm, mm, mm. Mm. Very, very good unless you just hate shrimp. So, have a fabulous day. It's beautiful. Get outside. I hope you've been outside some. It's a great time to live in Texas, South Texas. Talk to you soon. Bye.